Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another renovation vlog. I feel like we're getting so close now to being upstairs. We're literally ordering carpets. We which are hopefully coming in a couple of weeks. And really carpet is the last stage. Once carpets are in, no tradesmen upstairs, apart from maybe if we go for fitted wardrobes. We haven't decided on that one yet. We have radiators being fitted, the bathrooms finishing off being fitted, the doors have been hung, painting and finishing touches with painters and decorators. <laughs> My mind is just a whole mess at the minute. But we're getting there, we are getting there. We're getting so close now to being more like room reveal videos. And then the second part of the renovation series will probably be in the new year, which is the extension and the basement big jobs. So we're just at the stage now where we're getting quotes and finalised decisions on which builders we're going with for that and it's likely to be at the start of the new year with them just being so busy and then Christmas is here and everything like that. But anyway, today's renovation vlog is actually very kindly sponsored by Cherries. You guys have heard me talk about Cherries before. If you are new to my channel though and have never heard what Cherries is, essentially it is a shopping app which helps you you save on everyday essentials, cleaning products, homeware goods, pet items, toys, kids, food, seasonal bits, all sorts. It's one of those apps that I just tend to have a bit of a browse through. So if you are a regular user like me, they have the new in section where every week they get in new stock and you can see what is new in. And if you are an existing customer of Cherries and you already know and love them, then I do actually have a discount code for you guys, which is Freya. You can use it at checkout and that will get you free shipping off your next three orders. Even better still, if you have never used cherries before, then I have an exclusive 25% discount and the free shipping off your next three orders. Let me know what some of your purchases are. I'm going to let you know what my purchases are at the start of this video and then we'll get into the actual renovation part of the vlog. This box is very heavy. Some decaf coffee from Carte Noir. I also picked up this from the homeware section. It's just one of these glass airtight jars with a little lid. Bathroom essentials in there. You could put this in your kitchen cupboards. You could get loads of them and label them up. Pinterest worthy, Pinterest vibes. I also got loads of Zafloras because I might have an addiction. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have a sort through of my cleaning cupboard and I feel like there's gonna be quite a few more Zafloras than I thought there was but I picked up more anyway. This one is kind of like, probably one of my favorites for autumn. It's in spiced plum. It's got the spice element, but still a bit fruity. It actually kind of reminds me of the autumn scent from the white company. It's quite complimentary to that. It's fruity and light, but cinnamony and spicy at the same time. I also picked up one of these, cypress and sea sage, which again is another one that I love. So I got a couple of those as well. I picked myself a little Christmas goodie up here from Yankee Candle, one of these car air fresheners in Christmas cookie. Oh, I picked up some of these for uh, the renovations, basically. Picked up three of these protective decorating sheets. I also got some of my uh, fave Lenore and stuff walls in gold orchid. When I go through my cleaning cupboard, I'm also gonna have a real good sort through of my cleaning cloths and get rid of any like real grubby ones. And so I picked up a fresh new load from Minky. I've got the um, microfiber, the general purpose. This one's my favorite, the glass and window. Kitchen one as well, I've got a couple of them and then the glass and window again. Oh, I've DIY'd a little first aid box. So, because a couple of incidents, <laughs> practically living on a building site. So I've got some extra plasters to put within that box. I got these for our kitchen as a temporary measure. These warm white LED strips which you put... I need to sneeze. <coughs> Ideal for under shelf lighting and considering we are basically without a light at the moment in our house, we just switch on the lamps in the evening and this ring light. We've been living like that for a couple of months now. I thought these would be good to just go under the kitchen kind of cabinets so that we can see at night time in the kitchen. I also picked up this, which is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be, and like thicker. It's an Onyx blanket throw, 150 by 200 centimeters. I kind of primarily got this as a throw for our sofa, for Barney's bed. I feel like now that I'm a dog owner, I can never have too many blankets because these are just constantly on cycle in the wash. Advanced white toothpaste. I've got some mailing bags. These are always handy to have and good for if and when I eventually got upstairs, I might depop some clothes and have a bit of a sort out. I also got some more of these minky cloths. I actually really like this one, the one that comes with the mini because the minis are really good and handy size to have. We also love having a pet 
one so I can determine which minky is for pet areas. I also picked up some Lenore crease releaser. I feel like they've changed the packaging since I last shopped this. Goes well with the Lenore gold orchid unstoppables. I've never actually tried monster energy drinks. I always see Ellie Darby drinking them with Connor and I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to try one because this flavour in particular is called Ginger Brew. So you guys know me, I'm a big ginger flavoured fan, I love my ginger beer and like ginger tea, lemon and ginger tonic from Lydia Lee's Millen. I did actually pick up another couple of the Vermouche pet hair dissolvers. These are good if you're washing like pets bedding um, just to make sure that all their hair is kind of dissolved within the wash. Some paracetamol. Well, we've got two little basil plants in our um, kitchen. So I'm gonna repot them in these little planters. I got this, which I thought would be a fun or Christmas day thing to do. Charades game, and then a back to the 80s quiz, which I definitely don't want to play. I might even hide that one. Another minky cloth. This is the anti-bag kitchen pad. I also got a tape measure, because I needed one the other day. Um, didn't have one to hand, so I thought I'd pick that up when I saw it on Cherries. I also stopped up on my faves at Ritter Sport. So Cherries always have Ritter Sport, and they are just divine. They have a few more, but I just got the Corn Flakes one and this one. Love this one, the Butter Biscuit. Lint Rollers, again, always handy to have. Some sweet corn, really randomly. Some more Sensitive Skin Plasters for the little first aid kit that I've got. I actually want to buy a really nice first aid tin or something. I think I've seen some in the... Range, Donnell, Matalan. I think they all have a few, but I think Matalan have some really nice looking ones, like white and black. Maybe I should pick one up. I got for our bedroom, because I love lavender in the bedroom, I've got another one of these plugins for Breeze Ambipure. Oh, formerly Ambipure. I didn't realise that they'd switch the names. Anyway, in lavender. They also now have Oh god, I just hit myself in the head with it. They now have the original Oatly oat drink. But this one in particular I love. It's the barista edition. So it helps create really frothy milk. I find in my Nespresso milk frother, this one gets really frothy. Or if you don't want the oat milk and you go for cow's milk, the skimmed milk, the red one, which I would never ordinarily buy, is the one that's best for foaming up if you want like a cappuccino style drink. I picked these up for Tom, he was asking for some the other day. These are always the colours that you need, the white and black, so I decided to pick up one of them. Again, really random beans. Cans of tuna that I said that I get, I also get it in spring water. I used to get it in brine, and Tom always gets it in sunflower oil, so we've got all three. Um, but I started getting it in the spring water because then Barney can have some of that as well. I love Crave cereal, and they now do this mix of three flavours edition. Oh God, I tap. I cannot wait to get into that filming room where I can have a proper setup. I can actually be sat on a chair and not on the floor all the time. I got some more Dishmatic heads. These are the black ones. These are for extra heavy duty. Some heavy duty rubber gloves for cleaning wear. This was one of the things I think I spotted in the new in section. It's a Sleep Well pillow spray. I also got two of these baking trays. We do have a couple that are desperately in need of binning. I also got this rolling pin. I like the fact that it's a roller pin with the handles like this. So this is like one of these toilet sprays that you pop in the toilet before you go number two. And this is in the scent sage and vanilla. They also do branded items and this one when I swatted this I thought oh I'll pick them up. Just some pencils. Then the last few items are for Barney. They're just some dog treats. He loves these Jumbones from Pedigree, so I picked up two of them. And he's, I don't think I've ever bought these for him. The Misfits Nasher Sticks Chicken and Beef Flavour. And then last but not least, some all purpose cleaning pet wipes. And that is the Mahoosive order that I put in with cherries. So, again, just a friendly reminder if you did want to shop anything yourself, don't forget to take advantage of those discount codes either Freya for existing customers or Freya25. For new customers, I'll leave the link and all the information in the description box below. Thank you to Cherries for kindly working with me on this part of today's video. And without further ado, let's get in to the renovation vlog. Seven? Are we on seven? Six, seven or eight? No, we're not on six. We must be on seven. Maybe eight. Wow. We did it. We went back to a bright white, which was a bit of an error on my part. I did feel pretty guilty saying to the painters, can we change it please? It smells good. <laughs> but it just is so much brighter. I'm a fan. Let me just flip you around and show you this bedroom. Ooh! So this is the Lick Beige 01. 
and there is still one coat to go on here you can see like they've just caught the edges of the paneling where it's white so that needs to all be painted over it's looking good i'm really happy with it i'm excited to get the wall lights on the ceiling pendant it's all going to come together such a fan of this color i'm so glad i went for it it's a really nice neutral beige with like i said almost just a slight subtle hint of a greeny undertone and then joiner is back tomorrow to fit finish off that skirting board and the doors don't want to touch anything in case it's wet and this is now nice and bright and white again he did say there's a couple of areas that have still got a slight creamy kind of tone to it so again just need to finish off because he used a spray gun up here um with the the white there's just a couple of areas i can see just a little bit there as well or there that just need going over with that second coat and then it will all be dandy and i always just keep coming in here for a little look at these tiles and all their beauty because they make me so happy i love them probably one of my favorite things about the um renovation so far is these the decision that we made to go with for these tiles oh my goodness we have doors which is so exciting these still need to be painted so we haven't put on the handles yet but i'll just show you let me show you in the natural daylight and the joiner has also finished off fitting the last of the skirts we had a couple more in here to do as well which he's finished off so the joiner's done now and these are the handles that we've gone for we've gone for i think they call them a beehive knob in matte black they're kind of like a fluted effect and also black hinges i've ordered as well i got these from i think it's called the door handle company and then eventually when we get around to doing the railings in black as well i just think that'll sort of tie it all in together so we have had our bath fitted our tap fitted which is gorgeous it's got this protector sleeve on it for the moment top floor is basically done i think from tomorrow when the plumbers are finished i think from tomorrow we'll be able to use the top floor bathroom like shower and everything no was that you by accident no. someone's dented the can anyway we're forever breaking vacuums it seems in this household tom's just having a bit of a clean up today carpet fitters are coming wednesday and what we've ordered is just a cheap roll that's in beige as well as the like same color as the actual wool carpet that we've got the, the, for the top two floors is just included as a run here of cheap carpet that we're essentially going to have put down as a temporary fix and we'll get the nice carpet rolled up stored away in the eaves until we've done all of the downstairs renovations so this will kind of act as a bit of a doormat going up the new cheap carpet up these stairs to the nice carpet up there so that's the plan he's coming to do proper measurements and everything on wednesday in fact i'll show you the upstairs top floor now let me just put on some sensible shoes aka Birkenstocks instead of slippers. Essentially, when we're upstairs, we're gonna have a real good sort out, move everything up that needs to be upstairs so that this room will start getting emptier, as will that back room that we're using as our bedroom, which, I mean, it's been a while since I've showed you it, but it's just a big chaotic mess at the moment. Primark calls and all sorts going in there, a smash window, it's a nightmare. But yeah, this will become a clear room until we start the big extension in probably February time, or at least in the new year we're looking at. This will be kind of a storage room, a utility, not utility, but like drying our clothes throughout winter in here. A good storage room really. A space for us to start going through the basement stuff so that we can have a clear out. Oh, and we have one spare box of tiles, apparently. This, oh, two boxes. These are the tiles that are in. I oh, just love them. I'll tell you the name of these because I've actually had a few people ask. They're from Mandarin Stone. They're 600 by 600. And they're in the Casa Grande, they're called. And it was in that moment she knew she effed up. This, as the joiner has so kindly pointed out to me, is a draw pull like a kitchen cabinet drawer or a bedside table drawer pull. I did think they looked small. I'm tempted to keep them though, because I do really like them. Either for a potential future kitchen or like I said, drawer pulls, wardrobe door, handles, 
They do look nice and they would go with the internal doors because I do still want to find some that are like this but obviously actually <laughs> actual door handles anyway moving on we have doors that are hung door latches locks whatever are in we just need to buy real door handles rather than door pulls bath is in taps in i mean i've shown you this already we've had the plaster come back just to finish off the edging around the shower because it was a little bit shoddy wanted a much smoother finish so he's come back to plaster that we just need the painters to paint over that obviously my shower tray and valve is in but plumbers are back next week is it yeah predict just a couple of weeks before i'm filming in this room which is so exciting i'm already thinking a christmas tree somewhere but shh, we won't talk about that just yet still in love with our bedroom color that we went for lick beige one it's just perfect a real nice kind of deep beige but with a hint of like a green undertone to it so i'm obsessed with that we need to shop for lights today so yeah this top floor bar the beam is done it's actually done so tom's going to oh okay scrap that <laughs> electrician needs to come as well to fit the actual sockets and everything but the beam for now i think what tom might actually do we're gonna have the paint and decorate sand it back varnish it and do all that i think he might just get his sander to just sand it like very roughly back just so that you can get up here sooner it doesn't matter if it's a bit rough and oh yeah i mean that's not the perfect finish but anyway for now then we've had our radiators fitted these are from best heating we've gone for the column style this is a triple column and then i ordered these valves again i'll try and find links to them i've gone for this kind of antique brass because that's what we're going with for fixtures and fittings, light switches, sockets, all that kind of jazz. Obsessed with this flooring, but it does need a clean. We have a storage. All of the plumbing system has been fitted in. And I was asking you guys in the previous renovation vlog what to do about pipes in terms of, there was a bit of copper showing uh, here. Plumber's already sorted that, didn't ask him to. He's just done it already. So that's what the towel rod looks like in here. Toilet is hung and all fitted up so we can actually flush it and use it now. It just needs a good clean in here. Shower is wet because it's been used. Well, not used as a shower, it's been tested. The water is running, hot, cold, it's all good. Plumber's actually recommended we start using the shower so we can give it a good test run before then back next week. So this is now our shower. We no longer have to go to the gym. Love the big sink that Tom's gone for. So it's like a hidden waste, which is kind of a bit of a shame that we've gone for the brass waste in the sink, considering it's covered anyway. Um, but we had it and we thought, you know what, we couldn't return it, so we thought let's just go with it, go with the brass finish. But there is actually a little circular brass waste, push waste, click on thing that goes in there. But um, Tom prefers the option of putting this on rather than having the brass on show, and I actually do agree, I think it looks nice. So we just have this brass waste, push waste thing that's basically spare. So when we've got storage up here, little baskets or something on this windowsill maybe I'll just keep this close by so that if we do decide to put this on or use it then we can do so so yeah this top floor apart from sockets and switches is done and we're ready to start shopping I have a potential sofa bed which I'm in love with that I might actually get for both this room and my filming room, the exact same one, but maybe just two different sizes. We might go king in one, double in another. It's virtually done. Carpet's gonna be the very last thing to fit. No more Birkenstock and sock combinations going on. <laughs> you get the uh, things, um, bags. Rubble sacks, they're there. Oh, this is a man's look. He's asked me to find rubble sacks. They're all here. Yeah. Oh look, he's done the light switches. Yay. Okay, so, well, not the switches, sorry, the, the light fixtures, fittings. We had to have them moved to be centralized in between these, the middle of these panels. So we've had the plasterers just come and do that. 
So good job we've got an extra tin of lick paint to cover that up. They just said that it's not set in place yet, so although I could have a bath, it might shimmer. Do you want to come in the bath? Uh, oh, I can picture it. Huh? It's, it's deep. It's deep. It's plenty big enough. It's plenty big enough for you, isn't it? Yeah. You can like can... three pitched on that wall, but I think. Now I'm keeping this min super minimal in here. Maybe in the future, but wait until all the actual toilets in. I want one of them little wooden stools. You know that I was shopping for on antique places yesterday. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I could officially have a bath now if I wanted to. However, it's a little bit dusty up here just yet, and the bath isn't actually fixed down just yet either, so probably best stop waiting. So this is the Colbrook floor tap. This is the most expensive purchase we made in terms of bath fixtures and fittings. However, I do love it. So you've got this tap that moves. You've got the handheld shower part, so you could use it to rinse your hair potentially have a nice little dog wash in here if we need to wash him um rinse the bath down that kind of thing and then this is actually ta -da! the tap i've gone for the white waist as well just so it's hidden i think i've mentioned that before how nice is my niche i'm gonna have aesop products in here all black matching maybe aesop pardon surely not Surely not, Tom. Have I just locked us in? Yeah. No, you need to get like a little screwdriver to open that. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of screwdriver. No, but there's something we can use, surely. I'm trying to use that. Oh, yes, yes, it's open. Oh my God, oh my God. I felt like I was stuck in a lift then. I was... What, being stuck in a lift? Yeah. I don't think I have. I'd panic. I'd feel like I'd remember if I had. I've probably had moments where I've thought, why is the door not opening? Oh, okay, and then it's opened. Ooh. Ooh. Crisis averted. I thought I'd locked us in then. Hiya, Baba. Are you just chilling? You're just chilling, aren't you? We are on the road. We are actually heading into Wilms though, which is not too far from us at all. And it's actually where we picked up our tiles from the Mandarin Stone. There was a shop, do we know the name of this shop? It's something called House Proud or something like that. House Proud, and it was by that new sushi place, wasn't it? I think we're gonna grab some lunch whilst we're there as well and just make a bit of a an afternoon of it. So there's a shop house proud something like that which essentially we've been into before and we've seen light switches doorknobs door handles they did taps and things didn't they in all different metals which we are after a antique brass for all the switches and plug sockets which is gonna be quite hard shopping online we've seen some that we like we want to avoid a real yellowy brass look at that plane when you're driving by the airport it's so close so anyway we're having a little trip out to Wilmslow, so I thought I would show you some of the options that they've got in this store that we end up going to. See if we end up picking anything up. Follow me out down to the bay. Forget all the worries. Some of the hope. 
that was a success. Ended up unintentionally coming on market day. We have been to them once before and they are really lovely to just have a nice stroll along. So we only paid for two hours parking and we've utilized the full two hours. Tom's just run into Sainsbury's, which is where we parked, to grab us some food for tonight because we ended up picking up some pancetta. I mean, look at that, that is a slab of pancetta. And he's gonna make us nice carbonara tonight because we were actually coming in and potentially gonna go to, is it Cibo in Wilmslow? That's like a Italian. Someone's gonna park right next to me whilst I'm vlogging. That's not ideal, but hey ho. So yes, we've unintentionally come on market day. So we've ended up eating loads of food, buying loads of food. The only thing I was, when I saw it was markets, I was like, oh, we can get Barney something because they've had previously dog stands or like dog cakes and dog biscuit stands. Didn't see any of them this time. So they must not have come to open this it's so stuffy in this car i like to call this tom's milk float if you know what a vwi whatever is and we have ordered sockets now we just wanted to double check on the switches exactly how many are double and single we know how many there are but we're just undecided on which ones are double and single so we need to ask the electrician for that we thought we'd take home a sample so i've been saying antique brass this actually isn't this is rustic brass because the antique brass was this kind of colour, but more of a smooth finish. Whereas if you can see, this one has a lot of texture to it. Toggles. What do we think? I personally am a big fan. We both are. We've also got some sun-dried tomatoes. We got a French pastry. This one is a pear and hazelnut one, which is half eaten. I also got some cake and we also got Italian pastry. So we've got quite a lot. So this is the doorknob that we think we're going to go for, but in a matte black. And, thank you. What, because I always pay for everything in this relationship? I do, pay for everything. I pay for, well think how much homework stuff I buy. We're going to go for this. The white in store in South Manchester. I'm sorry, I'm just busy vlogging. Are we going to go to Loaf or not? Should we just get back home? Well, anyway, these are the ones that we're kind of going for. We just need to check this as a sample to make sure that it's going to fit on the latches that we've ordered. Because again, potential slip up. I've ordered only three inch. He said these are better with four inch, but it's too late now because they are in. Ooh, careful. It's on this. So we are a while off this yet. But we're just softening the blow for Tommy on how expensive loaf sofas are. So 300 yards turn left and we're there. I wanna sit on them and see how comfy they actually are. And there's a long wait time. I think Joe's is coming in, he said 20 weeks. That's half a year, near enough. So we need to be putting our order pretty soon. Oh, here we are, loaf. Oh, it looks nice. Nice. I've lost him. There's so many people just sat chilling on the sofas. It's hilarious. Do we need to buy two? Oh, you like it that much, no, do, do you? We need to buy two. Are we keeping the black one for the kitchen? No. It is comfy. You know, like in comparison to our black one now, it's just worlds apart, isn't Your it? Your hair looks like ridiculous. <laughs> That's it. Right, sold. They've got rugs. Yeah, nice and deep. Maybe in the kitchen, I don't know. Would it fit? Wait till we see it, really. Yeah. I really want to have like these kind of linen fabrics in our bedding. Love that colour. In fact, I love that colour combo, especially for autumn. We'll misbehave. Stay up till late.
is 7.30 a.m. bright and early. We've just had a delivery of our wall lights. So I thought I'd just run through lighting and what we are going for, seeing as though this week is um, the start of the electrician doing the kind of final fix fittings for all of the lights. So we have gone for these ones from Garden Trading. They are called the Hoxton Cone Wall Lights and the finish of them is kind of a bronzy black like almost a brush black he has started fitting the spots and honestly it makes such a difference so in here for instance i'll show you we have gone for white spots and these ones are good for bathroom and bedroom it's not even focusing is it i'll show you in my filming room but yeah through the corridor this one he just needs to test, so that's why that's kind of hanging out, not fitted just yet, same with that one. But they are fitted in my bathroom. A few people have asked about this shower with it being quite dark. There is a spotlight in here, so when you come in, it's directly above your head. This is my filming room, coming along nicely, and these spots are in. I'm so glad I decided to paint it all back to just a nice bright white so that it can't focus on anything. <laughs> and little man sat patiently waiting down at the bottom of the stairs. Aren't you? Good boy. So back to lighting. We obviously have this that's just arrived for the wall lights. I decided to go for this one for the ceiling lights, kind of a fan light from Dunelm. 45 pounds that one was i thought that was a pretty good price and then i'll show you the one that we're using upstairs so in this hallway upstairs we have one drop pendant there and then the rest of the uh, room and everything up here spots this is rrp of 99 pounds boundary mills price was 79 we've gone for this kind of style which Reminds me of like the white company one with the black metal frame, which I love. I personally would just like a single pendant. Tom's a bit more quirky and considering this is more or less his floor, his space that he's going to be in all the time, I figured just let him decide on a light. So the fact that he's kind of gone with the theme that I like, but this three tiered one from Pagazzi, it's very him. There were a couple of other questionable suggestions that he made to me and I just kind of ruled them out rather than these round bulbs the ones that they had in store in situ were these kind of shape which i prefer so these are led dimmable decorative bulbs and they're just a kind of longer shape than the round ones so yeah that is hopefully going up today as well